Alanon slash Alateen, Wikipedia article audio. Alanon slash Alateen, Alanon family groups and Alanon are different names for a worldwide fellowship that offers a program of recovery for the families and friends of alcoholics, whether or not the alcoholic recognizes the existence of a drinking problem or seeks help. A Lateen is part of the Al-Anon Fellowship designed for the younger relatives and friends of alcoholics through the teen years. Al-Anon defines itself as an independent fellowship with the stated purpose of helping relatives and friends of alcoholics. According to the organization, alcoholism is a family illness. Its preamble to the 12 steps provides a general description. Background History The Al-Anon family groups are a fellowship of relatives and friends of alcoholics who share their experience, strength, and hope in order to solve their common problems. We believe alcoholism is a family illness and that changed attitudes can aid recovery. Al-Anon is not allied with any sect, denomination, political entity, organization, or institution, does not engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any cause. There are no dues for membership. Al-Anon is self-supporting through its own voluntary contributions. Al-Anon has but one purpose, to help families of alcoholics. We do this by practicing the 12 steps, by welcoming and giving comfort to families of alcoholics, and by giving understanding and encouragement to the alcoholic. Not an intervention program, Al-Anon does not have the stated primary purpose of arresting another's compulsive drinking. Members meet in groups. Meetings are usually small, in larger meetings. Members often split into smaller groups after the opening readings so everyone has a chance to speak. Many Al-Anon family group meetings begin with the suggested Al-Anon slash Alateen welcome, which starts. Purpose We welcome you to the Al-Anon family group and hope you will find in this fellowship the help and friendship we have been privileged to enjoy. We who live or have lived, with the problem of alcoholism understand as perhaps few others can. We, too, were lonely and frustrated, but in Al-Anon we discover that no situation is really hopeless, and that it is possible for us to find contentment, and even happiness, whether the alcoholic is still drinking or not. Al-Anon was CO founded in 1951. 16 years after the founding of Alcoholics Anonymous on June 10, 1935, by Ann S. and Lois W. Before the formation of Al-Anon, independent groups of families of alcoholics met. Bill thought the groups could be consolidated and that Lois should be the one to take it on. Benefits Al-Anon adopted the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous for their use word for word with the exception of the 12th step, changing the word alcoholics to others. Its name derives from the first parts of the words Alcoholics Anonymous. A Lateen, part of Al-Anon, began in California in 1957 when a teenager named Bob joined with five other young people who had been affected by the alcoholism of a family member. Although people commonly turn to Al-Anon for help in stopping another's drinking, the organization recognizes that the friends and families of alcoholics are often traumatized themselves and in need of emotional support and understanding. According to Lois W. After a while I began to wonder why I was not as happy as I ought to be, since the one thing I had been yearning for all my married life had come to pass. Then one Sunday, Bill asked me if I was ready to go to the meeting with him. To my own astonishment as well as his, I burst forth with, Damn your old meetings, 
and threw a shoe as hard as I could. Problems This surprising display of temper over nothing pulled me up short and made me start to analyze my own attitudes. Improvement My life's purpose of sobering up Bill, which had made me feel desperately needed, had vanished. I decided to strive for my own spiritual growth. I used the same principles as he did to learn how to change my attitudes. Treatment of Alcoholism We began to learn, that the partner of the alcoholic also needed to live by a spiritual program. Al-Anon slash teen literature focuses on problems common to family members and friends of alcoholics such as excessive caretaking, an inability to differentiate between love and pity and loyalty to abusers, rather than the problems of the alcoholic. The organization acknowledges that members may join with low self-esteem, largely a side effect of unrealistically overestimating their agency and control attempting to control another person's drinking behavior and, when they fail, blaming themselves for the other person's behavior. Demographics Participation in Al-Anon has been associated with less personal blame by women who, as a whole, engage in more initial personal blame for the drinking than men. Family members of alcoholics begin to improve as they learn to recognize family pathology, assign responsibility for the pathology to a disease, forgive themselves, accept that they were adversely affected by the pathology and learn to accept their family members' shortcomings. Al-Anon members are encouraged to keep the focus on themselves, rather than on the alcoholic. Although members believe that changed attitudes can aid recovery, they stress that one person did not cause, cannot cure, and cannot control another person's alcohol-related choices and behaviors. Al-Anon's primary purpose is to help families and friends of alcoholics, rather than stopping alcoholism in others or assisting with interventions. When an alcoholic's spouse is active in Al-Anon and the alcoholic is active in AA, the alcoholic is more likely to be abstinent, marital happiness is more likely to be increased and parenting by both is more likely to improve. A 1999 clinical analysis of methods used by concerned significant others to encourage alcoholics to seek treatment indicated that Al-Anon participation was mostly ineffective towards this goal. The psychologists found community reinforcement approach and family training significantly more effective than Al-Anon participation in arresting alcoholism in others. In 2007, Al-Anon Family Groups published its 2006 member survey results of demographic and other information from Al-Anon members in Canada and the U.S. Of the 645 respondents, 88% identified as white, 85% as female and 58% as married. One third of the respondents had children under age 21 at home. One finding was that 82% reported their mental health and well-being was much improved due to Al-Anon. For the 2006 ALA teen member survey, conducted in the U.S., 139 ALA teen members responded. 65% of the respondents were female, 35% were male. 72% were white and 20% spoke Spanish fluently. The respondents' average age was 14. Structure The structure of Al-Anon family groups may be depicted as an inverted pyramid, with the organization's headquarters at the bottom and the autonomous groups at the top. Groups Al-Anon and ALA teen members meet in groups for fellowship and support. Each group may elect a group representative to represent a group at district and area meetings. 
In Houston, Al-Anon and a Latin group select GRS to attend district meetings in the East Texas Area District 5. At these meetings they discuss service activities, group issues, and are a forum for groups and information from the area and the WSO, with GRS having voting privileges. A district may host regular events, such as workshops and speaker meetings, for the local fellowship. An area comprises several districts. Texas is divided into two Al-Anon areas, East and West. Each Texas area has about a dozen Al-Anon districts, for a total of about 24 in the state. Each area has regular meetings where GRS meet and vote on issues impacting that area, host workshops and speakers and bring area information back to their groups. At area assemblies, GRS elect a delegate to the annual World Service Conference. The WSC meets annually to interface with the World Service Office, which is managed by administrators and overseen by the Board of Trustees. Districts Areas World Service Democracy and Accountability Al-Anon promotes democracy and accountability. According to one of its general warranties of the conference, that though the conference serves Al-Anon it shall never perform any act of government, and that like the fellowship of Al-Anon family groups which it serves, it shall always remain democratic in thought and action. Another states that no conference member shall be placed in unqualified authority over other members. According to tradition 2 of Al-Anon's 12 traditions, for groups our leaders are but trusted servants they do not govern. Tradition 9 says, our groups, as such, ought never be organized but we may create service boards or committees directly responsible to those they serve. Districts and areas are directly responsible to the groups. The World Service Office is accountable to the World Service Conference. The conference is responsible to the areas through elected delegates and ultimately responsible to the groups. According to Concept 1 of Al-Anon's 12 Concepts of Service, the ultimate responsibility and authority for Al-Anon World Services belongs to the Al-Anon groups. When love is not enough, the Lois Wilson story is a 2010 film about the wife of AA co-founder Bill Wilson and the beginnings of AA and Al-Anon. In film